Okay, back with another video, but we got cut off before we finished talking to this kid, so... <laughs> Piss off, sister. Better leave me be. I'm almost a Shakespearean by now, and I'll get my name soon. Little kid. Oh my god. He's just a kid. Yep. Well, that's the way things go around here, I suppose. Um, I think this is the way the... Asian shopkeeper told us to... What is this? Oh, the fringe! There we go! Yeah? Hello, Hello it's Charlie, Charlie there, please. Who is this? My, My name's Zoe. Zoe. I'm, I'm a friend, friend of Reza. Reza. I'm, I'm looking, looking for him. I think, I think he, he might have been here. I don't know anybody named Reza. Sorry, goodbye. Wait, he's, he's a, a reporter. reporter. Goes, Goes by, by the name Jericho. Jericho. We have gained entry. Swank. All right. Yes, yes can, can I, I help you? you? I'm, I'm looking, looking for Charlie. Charlie. He's, He's down, down there past the bar. bar. Thank, Thank you. you. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Talk to this bitch and see what her deal is. Charlie's right, right over there. there. Uh, quiet. The place, the place is kind of quiet, quiet, isn't it? Look, it's a cocktail lounge, not, not a cafe. cafe. Right, right now, now it's the middle of the afternoon. Things heat up around midnight, and everyone stays until sun up. Right. That, that makes, makes sense. sense. Small talk. So, have you worked here long? What are you doing? <laughs> what? Why are you asking me questions? Uh, no reason. Okay, so stop. It's annoying. Uh, thanks. Thanks. Uh -huh. What a bitch on wheels. Okay. Well, let's have a little look around before we... Bonds are true. I like that whole Japanese, Japanese thing they've got going on here. Huh. Very nice indeed. Very swanky swank swank. It's a bonsai tree. What? Oh, really, Zoe? Really? Mm. Scented. Vanilla and champagne. They don't serve any cheap stuff here, that's for sure. Like in the aquarium back there. All right, let's talk to Charlie then. Excuse me, are, are you Charlie? Charlie? Yeah, Zoe, right? You said you were from the Jericho. That's right. Has, Has he been, been here? How do you know Jericho? We go way back. If you're such good friends, why do you need to track him down? Can't you just call? It's a long story. Jericho's investigating a story, and he's gone subterranean. His mobile's off. He may be in danger. I need to find him. Look, Charlie, he left me a message with your name in it. It's the only clue I have to go on. Alright, I believe you. I spoke with Jericho a couple of days ago. He called me, asked me some questions, I answered them. That's all. I really didn't want to get mixed up in anything. I have a business to run, and my customers don't like publicity. Sorry, girl. I wish I could help, but that's everything I know. Um, plead, threaten, or bargain? Plead. Listen, I know Jericho. He'd ask you to keep things quiet, and he wouldn't want to make life difficult for you. But something has happened, something big, and I really do need to find him. If there's anything you can tell me, anything at all, I don't know where else to go. Please. Okay, yeah. He came by last night. We talked a few days ago, but Jericho, he wanted to meet up. He said that some conversation should have crossed the wire. He wanted to ask me some questions about a place I used to live in ten years ago. The Border House. Whoa. The Border House? It was a boarding house for students, run by an English lady, Fiona. That's what Jericho got my name from. The place has been turned into a hotel now. 
The Victory Hotel. Shady place. Jericho will want to know everything about the building. Entrances, exits, floor plans for the works. He didn't tell me, and I didn't ask, but my guess is he was planning to break into the place. Why? There are stories. They say the place isn't really a hotel, but some kind of front for it. I don't know, and I don't want to know. Like I said, there are stories. Whoa. What kind of stories? Look, I get all sorts in here. I hear things. But if I start shooting my mouth off, I get burned. I lose my customers. I lose my business. Hell, with some of the people that come in here to party, I could lose it a lot more than that. So don't get me wrong, I would love to help you. But like I told your friend, I can't say much more than that. I understand. So, Jericho was interested in the layout of that place. What did you call it? The board house. Victory Hotel. Yeah. I told them there are canals running underneath the building and that there's a backyard. Since they drain the water, you can use the canals to get around. There might be a way to the building from the back. And Jericho, he went there last night. I honestly couldn't tell you, girl. We spoke, he left, haven't heard from him since. Okay, well, I guess that's a start. Victory Hotel. Um, Fringe. Do you own this place? Nah, I just want it. I used to own it, though. Bought it cheaply right after the collapse, hoping business would pick up again. It never did. I managed to sell it eventually, and the new owners hired me back to manage it. With the new capital, we turned the business around. We're one of the hottest places to go in Newport right now. We get VIPs from around the world. They scram in, party, leave the next morning. Funny thing is, ten years ago, this was a popular student hangout, the Fringe Cafe. I worked here as a bartender. This neighborhood, Venice, it was a great place to live. We used to think it was the center of the world. And it was, for a while. Different world, different times. The collapse changed a lot of things. Yeah, it changed everything. Um, Venice. Have you lived in Venice all your life? Feels like that sometimes. But no, I came here for school when I was 19. The Venice Academy of the Visual Arts. It was famous. Still is, but uh, for very different reasons. Back then, it was the best art school in the city. After the collapse, I lived uptown for a while. I needed to get as far away from Venice as I possibly could. Place has gone to hell the past decade, even more so than the rest of Newport. I don't live here. No one lives here, and I have to have a choice. What did you study at the academy? <laughs> I'll tell you if you promise not to laugh. I studied dance. You did? I was a kid. I believed that with enough passion, I could do anything I wanted. I had such faith in myself and in the world. But faith and passion alone will only carry you so far before reality sets in. I hung in there for a while, but money was tight. I had to drop out and find a job. When that happens, you got to face up to the facts. Your life ain't gonna turn out the way you hoped it would. And your dreams, they don't matter so much anymore. You lose faith, but life goes on. Besides, look at where it got me in the end. I've done well for myself. I'm a happy man. Giving up on your dreams isn't necessarily such a bad thing. Victory Hotel. Where, Where is the Victory Hotel? It's on a street called The Break. Walk to the other side of the crossroads, past the Chinaman store, and get to a bridge called The Rialto. Cross The Rialto to get to Marco Polo. Marco Polo will take you to The Break. Victory Hotel is on the end of The Break. Big gray building, wooden door, bench out front. I think there's some scaffolding still left from the construction work. That might help you get down to the canal, but I haven't been around here in a while. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks Charlie. Charlie. I, I appreciate, appreciate all your help. You're welcome, girl. Let, Let me know, know if you find a friend, friend, all right? All right, let's check our mobile. Um, those are our messages. That's our conversations. Here we go. Um, 
Raz is okay, thank God. It appears he was planning to break into a place called the Victory Hotel. That was last night, but it's the only clue I have to go on. I have to follow him. He could still be there. Alright, let's get the hell up out of here, shall we? city is called Newport, and this area of Newport is called Venice. Interesting. Alright, so let's see if we can't somehow get to... Oh, we can talk to something now? This plan is guaranteed. You can buy pistol bullets cheap to money to read in China. It's for me. I wish the Chinaman would shut up when I'm trying to talk to people. Well, it looks like this place used to be pretty cute. There's like a clock tower and everything, but I guess it's gone to hell now. <laughs> hey, you! Come here! Oh, shut you up! Be so invidious! Keep! Right. Every day since the collapse has been a struggle. Why do we keep going? I mean, what's the point? Another homeless guy. Yeah, really? Nice and warm. I can feel my hands and toes again. Alright, what about through here? Bench out front, they said. Um, well, I don't really see the okay. I'm, I'm guessing, guessing that's, that's the front entrance, entrance to the, the Victory, Victory Hotel. Hotel. Not, Not very inviting, is it? No. It's locked. Okay. There's, There's a call, call button, button here. here. No, no answer. answer. Alright. Um, well... See some kind of elevator device there. Oh, we can climb this thing. Ew. Not very clean. Okay. When I find you, Reza, I'm giving you a big hug. And then you'll buy me new shoes and pants. And a very big cup of hot coffee. Let's hope we find him. Okay.
I bet Zoe smells pretty awful by now. <laughs> it's a digital padlock. It looks pretty new. Oh god, no, come on, man. A back, a back door. door. That's, That's probably, probably where Rosa got, got in. Yeah, great. Looks very promising. Alright, well, how have we gotten through locks before? With our mobile. Oh, yep, yeah, we can use it here. Yeah. Hey, hey, it's, it's me. me. I, I found out where Reza was, was last night. night. A place called the Victory Hotel. Hotel. But, but I, I need your help. help. Sure. What, what do you need? Don't, don't freak out. out. I, I need, need to, to disable, disable a padlock. I will ask, what does it look like? Black, Black nondescript, blue light, light, a small display, your standard padlock. No keypad, so I'm guessing it only works with a key. Can I hack it? Sorry, sweetie. Those things aren't usually wired. They operate on short range frequencies. You need to get close, and you need a lockpick. What kind of lockpick? Anything reasonably modern should be able to take care of it, unless it's really heavy duty stuff. I don't think it is. It's just a padlock on a fence. Any lockpick will do, as long as it's got multiple frequencies and a universal interface. Most do. I'll try and find one. Thanks, Liz. Okay, so we need a padlock. Um, guess we're gonna get back down again, and what you wanna bet that Chinese dude selling lockpicks. Alright, let's go find him. Maybe if we finally buy something from him, we'll stop calling us over every time we pass by. Wouldn't that be a nice break? Okay. Back over this way. You know... It doesn't seem like this neighborhood would be really all that dangerous. No one's hassled me quite yet. But it is the middle of the afternoon. But it's dark outside, so what the hell. And let's talk to some more people. I'm nothing left to live for. I used to hold an art gallery here in Venice. Now look at me. I'm so sad. This place makes me so sad. Um, I think this is the way back. I really hope we can get out of here soon. It's so depressing. Come by Best Merchandise in Venice. From Best Merchant in Venice. Okay. Hi. Surprise, surprise. She's back. So you need something? Lockpick. I need to pick a padlock. Ooh. Very exciting. Breaking into private property. Very good. Very good. <laughs> No explanation needed. I'm not telling anyone. But sorry, can I help you? Also, I have a lockpick. I thought you said you can provide anything. Except for drugs. Ha! You very funny girl! I like you! Okay, okay. I might have something in stock for you. Yes, we are But good as new. In fact, better than new. Can pick more slots made in the past 15 years. I'll, I'll take, take it. it. How, How much? much? Way, way. May look, look like charitable or fool, fool, but this not cheap. Only one I got. You a good customer, but I pick, pick more valuable than, than money in Venice. Um, angry. So, so you, you have, have something, something in stock, stock but, but you, you don't, don't want, want to sell it to me. Thanks, thanks for nothing. nothing. Not so fast. I like you. You got spirit. I want to help. Maybe we can make trade? I don't have anything to trade. All I have is my mobile. No mobile. I got too many of it. 
cheap, made in China, top quality. So what do you want to trade? Please, help me out here. Mobile not very interesting. But my customers, they paranoid. They like to be invisible. If I could make mobiles invisible, like some, some kind, kind of cloak for mobiles? Yes, yes! That could be worth a lot to me! Definitely worth trading away last night, pig! Huh. Let's you see. Come, come by. by! Can we call Liv? Or we wait. We sold in Venice! Cheap! Top quality! Made in China! Yeah, we're gonna call Liv right now, I think. Zoe, is that you? Did you find a notebook? Sort of, but I need your help. Sure, sweetie. What do you need? I'm trying to buy a lockpick from this merchant, but he doesn't want money. He wants software. I got software. What did he want? Remember that cloak you gave me? Could I get a copy of that which would work on other mobiles? Not the same one. I wouldn't give that to just anyone. I got it. Thanks, Liv. You're the best. You're not wrong, really. Good luck, okay? I'll talk to you soon. She really is the best. Okay, so if you hear some more snacking in the back, that's me. I'm eating some crackers and cheese while playing. Um... Actually, let me see. He's, He's a, a friendly, friendly guy. guy. If I can... Work with... Okay, no. Never mind. Um... Talk. You back already? Got something to trade? Something good? I've got just what you need. It's a small program for your mobile. For any mobile. It disguises the phone and makes it hard for the eye in the sky to track it. Interesting. Something like that is very hard to find. Show me. I'll transfer it over. Very nice. Very nice. This is some good stuff. Where you get this? i never seen nothing like this before. This will make my customers very happy. Good. So we have a deal? Yes, yes, we have a deal. Here is lockpick for you. Please to do business. Very please. Alright. So, I'm going to save here. What about right there? Replace. All right. You buy something now? Best prices, guaranteed. Oh my god, I already bought something from you. Come by. Be so Never mind. He's not gonna stop calling us over. <sighs> he knows we don't have anything except mobile crap. Um. Okay. I think I remember where it was. I think I remember it was back this way. 